गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट फीचर्स ऑफ प्लाज्मिट इन रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो ओके सो इन रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी प्लाज्मिट इज यूज्ड एज अ वेक्टर so in our last lecture we have seen what is vector now plasmids are extra chromosomal they are circular and they are double stranded dna that is found in bacteria so you will get plasmids only in bacteria that means the prokaryotic cells in eukaryotic cells you will not get any plasmid okay and plasmids can be modified to include genes that are useful for cloning that means for cloning purpose we can modify the plasmid so plasmids are used in recombinant dna technology that we can extract from bacteria and then we can modify the plasmids for our use a modified plasmid that is used for cloning and expressing foreign gene is known as a vector so former is called as cloning vector and later is known as expression vector now see we can use plasmid for two purposes so when we use plasmid only for increasing its number then we can call it cloning vector and we can use plasmid to express the target gene also that time we can call it expression vector let's see so a successful modified vector becomes a recombinant plasmid now first let's talk about cloning vector a cloning vector is used to acquire multiple copies of the foreign gene so suppose you have a target gene you want to amplify that gene in order to do that you can put that gene in the plasmid and the plasmid will be replicated a plasmid can replicate inside the bacterial cell when a plasmid gets replicated its target gene also will be replicated so you will get ample amount of genes your target genes so that is cloning vector now let's see the features of a cloning vector okay so this is a cloning vector this is a simple cloning vector so the first thing it has is ori so it is origin of replication or ori so the name indicates that this ori is the sequence at which replication of dna begins because here your motto is to replicate the dna to amplify the gene that's why the ori is mandatory from this ori the replication is initiated and the copy number of a vector depends on this ori it controls how many times the gene of interest will be produced in the host cell see you can insert this cloning vector in the bacterial cell that is called transformation so we have talked about that in our last video now the thing is that the cloning vector will be replicated obviously but how many copies it will be replicated it can be replicated for 50 times for 100 times or for 1000 times so that depends on this ori if the ori is strong it can be replicated more if the ori is weak it can be replicated less so that's the funda okay so ori should be there in a cloning vector next it should have selectable markers so selectable markers are genes that help identify bacteria that have successfully transformed you can see here this is the gene that is for selectable marker so the selectable marker gene will produce a selectable marker protein now how can you understand if the cloning vector is inserted in the bacterial cell 
that means the transformation is done properly. So in that case, this selectable marker will produce a particular protein and the commonly used selectable markers are antibiotic resistant genes, ampicillin, canamycin, tetracycline are the examples. That means these proteins will be expressed in the bacterial cell. Suppose, suppose in your cloning vector you have the selectable marker ampicillin. So ampicillin means it is the ampicillin resistance gene and that gene will produce ampicillin resistance protein where in the transformed bacterial cell. So in the transformed bacterial cell now you will get ampicillin resistance protein and now you can add ampicillin to the bacteria but the bacteria will now survive it will not die why because the bacteria has ampicillin resistance protein so this is the purpose of using selectable marker but if your bacteria is not properly transformed that means if your bacteria did not get this cloning vector and now if you add the ampicillin antibiotic your bacteria will die why because the bacteria does not have any ampicillin resistance protein okay next is cloning sites you can see this is the cloning site what is cloning site so in cloning sites foreign gene is inserted into a vector so you have the gene of interest that is inserted into the cloning site the cloning sites are generally restriction enzymes recognition sites. Restriction enzyme recognizes the recognition site and cuts the DNA for insertion of foreign DNA. Eco R1, BAM H1 are the examples. So here, suppose your cloning site contains Eco R1 site. Now you apply Eco R1 here. So your eco R1 enzyme will cut this site and your cloning vector will make space for inserting the foreign gene. And here your, your foreign gene will be inserted. That means the cloning vector should contain ORI, the cloning site and the selectable marker. That's all. Okay. And next is expression vector. So an expression vector is used to acquire the protein of the gene of interest. That means here the priority is translation. In cloning vector, we had the priority of replication. So let's see the features of an expression vector. An expression vector contains all features of a typical cloning vector. That means an expression vector also should have this ORI, this cloning site and the selectable marker. Why? Because it is an expression vector that is okay, but it also needs to be replicated, right? That's why ORI is required and that expression vector also should have the cloning site because then only you can cut the site and you can insert your gene of interest and obviously it should have the selectable marker otherwise you cannot say whether the bacteria is transformed or not that means these three features must be there in expression vector see we have here one image this is the expression vector so it has ORI, it has selectable marker and then this is the this is the cloning site where the gene is inserted. You can see this is the coding sequence because you know that the gene contains the coding sequence. So here the gene is already inserted in the coding site. That means this, these three sites are already present in the expression vector. Okay, but additionally, they also have promoters, transcription, termination site, translation, initiation site, 
start codon and stop codon, reporter gene, etc. to help in protein synthesis. That means here we need transcription and translation too along with replication. Okay, so promoter. A promoter ensures initiation of transcription because we know that in promoter site RNA polymerase binds and some transcription factors also bind and then the initiation of transcription occurs. So first is promoter and then transcription termination site. It is responsible for termination of transcription. So initiation of transcription and then termination of transcription. And next is translation initiation site. So if your mRNA is generated then we want protein from it. That's why it should have the translation initiation site. The ribosomal binding site or RBS is responsible for the initiation of translation because we know that the ribosome binds at RBS and then only translation initiates. Next is start codon and stop codon. The start codon marks the site at which translation into protein sequence begins and the stop codon marks the site at which translation ends. So from RBS your translation will be initiated but the start codon ensures the first amino acid is coded and the stop codon ensures that your translation is done and then it is the reporter gene. So the reporter gene is responsible for the production of the protein which can be detected. Reported proteins bind to the target protein and are useful in the identification of the expression of foreign gene like GFP, green fluorescent protein. So what is reporter gene actually? So suppose this is your gene, this blue color region is your gene. Now this gene will encode a protein, that is okay. But how can you know that your protein is produced because you cannot see your protein, right? That's why you should uh, use the reporter gene. You can see that the reporter gene is here, it joins to the coding sequence. The reporter gene will report you. That means if the gene of interest is expressed and your protein is generated, the reporter gene will also express its protein and the reporter protein will be attached with the protein of gene of interest or you can say protein of interest and reporter gene can give you color. That's why we can use GFP green fluorescent protein or we can use RFP red fluorescent protein, YFP y, uh, yellow fluorescent protein all will give you color and if you can see the color that means your protein of interest is also there. So see this diagram here we have promoter. Promoter it should have here RNA polymerase will bind and initiation of transcription will occur and then it has RBS that means translation will occur from this side. And here this is the coding sequence, this is the start codon, this is the stop codon. Now you can see that the stop codon is after reporter gene. Why? Because you need to express your reporter gene too with your gene of interest. That's why after the reporter gene you have this stop codon. And then here you have the terminator. It indicates the termination of transcription. So your RNA polymerase will bind here and then transcription will occur from here to here. That means from RBS to the terminator. This whole area will be transcribed and you will have the mRNA. So the mRNA contains RBS, then your gene of interest, then reporter gene and then terminator and when this mRNA will be translated you will get two things 
one is your protein of interest that is attached with the reporter protein that means cloning vector and expression vector are little bit different although three sites are present in cloning vector and in expression vector three sites are common that is ori selectable marker and cloning site these three sites are common along with these three expression vector contains some more features it has promoter it has rbs it has reporter gene it has terminator of transcription site so that is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture if you want the pdf notes of this topic please check the description box or first pinned comment thank you